it has come to my attention that apparently some of Generation Z is trying to pick a fight with Generation X. But I'm here to warn you, there's a small section of Generation X that you have yet to encounter. I kept warning them. I kept warning them. I don't know what's wrong with these people. I kept telling Gen Z, leave them alone. Stop messing with them. Stop it. This is, it's, I know I make humorous videos, but I'm not being funny about it. Leave them alone. So many millennials have warned them, have warned Gen Z, leave them alone. They've told them what will happen. Leave them alone. They would not listen. And now guess what? Gen, S, Gen X is waking up. This is not a game. Gen X is waking up, y'all. All right? This is, this is serious stuff. You got woodsmen. You got the Gen X woodsmen. All right, don't get me wrong. All Gen Xers walked around in the woods, but you've got the ones who stayed out there. All right? And they're getting wind of this crap now. Holy Lord. Holy crap. We are in trouble. I got to be careful. No one's around when I tell you this because I might get in trouble. It's a subset that the rest of Gen X would disavow, but they're actually kind of like, yeah, they're ours. That younger sibling that's been picked on for years and years and and in his mind has amassed ways to take revenge on all kinds of people. When Gen X says they don't care, this subsection truly, literally does not care. Some have even called them the followers of the ways of Chuck Norris. The group that lives by mutually assured destruction. I'm talking about Gen X dash Bravo. Training wheels on a bike? What are training wheels? There were no street lights where these people lived. It got dark, they just curled into a ball in the leaves. Forget about the garden hose. These people drank from wherever they could find water. See how straight up you can shoot that arrow from your bow. Helmets on bikes, that is so lame. I learned to swim by being thrown in off the end of a dock. And not only was this elite unit extremely physical, they also had the nerd skills. They read the encyclopedia for fun and the dictionary. And when the internet came out, they learned how to do all kinds of things with household chemicals. Not that I actually knew any of them. And for those Gen Zers who wish to try to continue to call us out and blame us for your problems, well, we will continue to laugh at you and mock you without mercy or remorse. And I say all this in good fun as a joke until it isn't. Those of you who wish to back down, there is still time. You simply have to go to the forest and not that empty lot next to your house, the real forest, and bring an offering of appeasement, whether it be the Goonies in VHS form or the complete box set of MacGyver, or better yet, the A-Team. Also some Twinkies would be good. Then the wrath of the X will be appeased we will leave you alone, if you will leave us alone. I don't know who you are, or what it is you want, but I want you to listen to me, and I need for you to listen very carefully. In my life, I have amassed a vast set of skills. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. Leave me alone, and that will be the end of it. I will not pursue you, I will ignore you. But if you don't, I will pursue you, I will find you, and I will disconnect your internet in ways tech support can't possibly imagine. Y'all, it's all fun and games until it's not. This was a warning. Y'all, there were psychopaths at Jet X. What is wrong with these stupid kids? Holy cow. This is, this was not a joke. Oh my God. 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 Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. You know, someone left a comment on the video. I've been getting a lot of subscribers lately, specifically Gen X. You know, before we had like a lot of guys, but we didn't have a lot of girls. But now we have a lot of girls. They're all Gen Xers. Welcome. I've, I finally found my female fan base. They're mean, not mean, mean, like they, they, they're nice people. Just don't piss them off and don't upset them. 
I don't know what's wrong with Gen Z. They were told not to mess with these people. All right. These people are not to be messed with. And they did not listen. You know, Red Pill said, my brother is a Gen Xer and I'm an OG millennial in 1982. This crazy MFR used to take me to walk in the tunnels of the subways in the NYC, the Bronx, like WTF, laughing my butt off. These Gen Zers do not want that smoke. Guys, they don't know these, they don't know these people. They don't know these people. Oh my God. The things I the things I lived through. Oh my gosh. This is a comment. This is one of the one of the lovely ladies that I'm talking about. All right. Gen X was taught to put yourself in their shoes. So we understand your strengths and weaknesses. Jesus, help us. Gen X was taught not to start fights, but we better finish them. So we appear passive, but we most certainly are not. Jesus. These are warnings. These are warnings that these young people refuse to understand and refuse to accept. They are told not to mess with Gen X. They were asleep for a reason. I often compare Gen X to a sleeping bear, although that's not completely accurate. A better analogy would be a giant honey badger. Pastor says, 1968 Gen X here. We're less like bears than wolverines, maybe honey badgers without the honey. We did all the dangerous things. We were left to our own devices. And most were fearless. And we are mostly fear fearless. Plus, we're fed up with the madness and we're not going to take it. No, we ain't going to take it. Oh, God. They were told to leave Gen X alone. They couldn't do just that. They couldn't keep their mouths closed. They couldn't leave these people alone. Leave them alone. Uh-uh. Do you know what the honey badger is? I don't think Gen Z seems to understand the honey badger. The honey badger is to be messed with under no damn circumstance. This is the honey badger. Watch it run in slow motion. It's pretty badass. Look, it runs all over the place. Whoa, watch out, says that bird. Ew, it's got a snake. Oh, it's chasing a jackal. Oh my gosh. Oh, the honey badgers are just crazy. The honey badger has been referred to by the Guinness Book of World Records as the most fearless animal in all of the animal kingdom. It really doesn't give a shit. If it's hungry, it's hungry. Ew, what's that in its mouth? Oh, it's got a cobra? Oh, it runs backwards? Now watch this. Look, a snake's up in the tree. Honey badger don't care. Honey badger don't give a shit. It just takes what it wants. Whenever it's hungry, it just... Ew, and it eats snakes? Oh my god, watch it dig. Look at that digging. The honey badger is really pretty badass. They have no regard for any other animal whatsoever. Look, and it's just grunting and, ew, eating snakes. Ew, what's that, a mouse? Oh, that's nasty. Oh, they're so nasty. Oh, look, it's chasing things and eating them. The honey badgers have a fairly long body, but a distinctly thick set, broad shoulders, and, you know, their, their skin is loose, allowing them to move about freely. And they twist around. Now, look, here's a house full of bees. You think the honey badger cares? It doesn't give a shit. It goes right into the house of bees to get some larva. How disgusting is that? It eats larva. Ew, that's so nasty. But look, the honey badger doesn't care. It's getting stung like a thousand times. It doesn't give a shit. It just, it's hungry. It doesn't care about being stung by bees. Nothing can stop the honey badger when it's hungry. Oh, what a crazy fuck. Look. Ew, it's eating larva. That's disgusting. There it is, running in slow motion again. See? Now, what's interesting is that other, other animals, like these birds here, they just like to wait around until the honey badger's done eating, and then it swoops in to pick up the scraps. It says, you do all the work for us, honey badger, and we'll just eat whatever you find. How's that? What do you say, stupid? Look at this bird. Thanks for the treat, stupid. Hey, come back here, says the honey badger. Birds don't care. And you know what? The jackals do it, too. Look at these little dogs. They're like, thanks, stupid. Thanks for the mouse. See you later. 
The honey badger does all the work while these other animals just pick up the scraps. At night time, the honey badger goes hunting because it's hungry. Look, here comes a fierce battle between a king cobra and a honey badger. I wonder what'll happen. Look at this. There's the honey badger just eating a mouse. And then look, get away from me, says the snake. Get away from me. Honey badger don't care. Honey badger smacks the shit out of it. And the snake comes back and it lashes right at the honey badger. Oh, little does the honey badger know, FYI, it's been stung. It's been bitten by the snake. So while it's eating the snake, ew, that's disgusting. Meanwhile, the poisonous venom is seeping through the honey badger's body and it passes out. Look at that sleepy fuck. Now the honey badger is just gonna pass out for a few minutes and then it's gonna get right back up and start eating all over again because it's a hungry little bastard. Look at this, like nothing happened. The honey badger gets right back up and continues eating the cobra. How disgusting. You were, guys, this is Gen X. This is Gen X. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. I don't know how the hell, we know how it happened. It's going to be hell on the, in the streets. It's going to be hell out there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Guys, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Gen X here. We've been quietly on this app, just enjoying it, laughing, not liking pictures and scrolling. That's it. And then a few weeks ago, Han from Fast and the Furious got online and talking about who let Gen X off the hook? We didn't even have to say nothing. You know why? Because the Zennials and the Millennials and those other generations that I don't even know about, they came online and told you, leave them alone. They throw hands and they don't have feelings. They don't care. Don't mess with them. They're in their quiet place. Leave them alone. Everybody's telling you what's going on. And then you had a couple of people came out and explaining to you that we are the find out generation and uh we're not the bigger person and then you had what last week or something uh mayonnaise bread came on talking about gen x let me break down the 90 percent of the 100 percent of gen x 90 percent or is everything that they explained everything that they're telling you that's 90 percent of us we could take off five people on a bike drive through three cities and end up with 30 people all races, all colors, all chilling, just riding bikes, getting along. It was just, if you was part of the clique, you was part of the clique, and we just rode. And then when we going home, people just broke off into their own designated groups. We know all the old music. We quiet riot, Devo. Because to listen to one R&B song, you had to listen to 15 alternative records. So we just learned them all. We go to parties, and we just chill. We had to bring towels because we were sweating, because we was enjoying the party dancing. That's 90% of Gen X. Now, 5% are racist. We leave them in their corner. We, we don't mess with them. But that last 5%, they came out about seven years ago. Listen, seven years ago, you guys found out what Gen X was about. You found out because these are the ones that were in their own private schools, in their neighborhood. They only dealt with a few people. Their, their, their boomer parents had the money to keep them away from us regular folk. And they were hidden away. But in the last seven, eight years, they let them outside. They let them outside, out of their box. We call them Karens and Kevins. You didn't know that, huh? Go back and look at all the videos of all the Karens and Kevins getting beat up. They all Gen X that they let out the goddamn house. That was never let out the house. That shows you because they don't give a f either. They got a mouth. They don't get hurt feeling. I mean, they they get their ass whooped. But they, but that's just showing you a that's showing you a preview of what Gen X is. So look, now that we're out, there's only a couple of things because we 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 show with force. The the one thing that we need to do that that I'm gonna say that we should do to help, but it's gonna take you, you other generations to help out because we're not tech savvy and all that stuff. We just say it and we do it and then we go about our way. Find out any politician that has taken APAC money and just vote against them. I don't care who, who you pick. Vote against any politician that's taken money from APAC. 
I don't care how much you see the commercials. Just somebody print a list of everybody who's getting money from APAC and just vote against them. I don't care who you vote for. We don't care. Just vote against them because politicians don't need term limits. We just need to vote them out. That's all. We're going to start by that and then other, we, we on the ground running. Boots on the ground. Gen X, stand up, baby. Yo, these are feral people. All right? I have comments from Gen X women who say, Gen Z needs to leave them alone and let them stay under their rock. These people want to be left alone. Gen Z is the Gen Z, however, they're far gone. They're too far gone. You can see what this little Gen Zer did at the rally, all right, with our with our president. You can see what that idiot Gen Zer did. This is how Gen Z is as a generation. They're 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 bad muffins. Bad batch of muffins that should never have made it out of the oven, if you know what I mean. Oh, my gosh. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the content, consider signing up to my newsletter for my personal thoughts and insights. It's linked in the description of the video. Go and sign up. It is free. And also join the Angry Guy community over on Locals. You can go. You can find us by going to angrygalaxy.com, linked in the description of the video for exclusive content, or if you just want to support the channel. Gen Z has pissed off Gen X. I kept on saying they are the mess around, find out, mess around, find out generation. They are giant honey badgers. Okay? The Gen Xers that are with us today are the ones who survived. People often say, why is Gen X such a smaller generation compared to the other generation? Someone in my comments said it very well. Oh, because those are just the ones who survived. The other one, the others weren't strong enough to make it. Guys, you have to be very careful in a world where men die young and old men are still around. Okay? I've said this plenty of times that just because Gen X is tired doesn't mean that they are retired. Tired as in tired of the bs a lot of these people stayed in shape they are physically stronger than they were in their 20s how is this possible because they are smarter they've had 20 30 40 in some cases almost 50 years to train and to learn and oh they have trained and oh they have learned you will not outsmart them they know all the tricks they were ahead of gen z by decades when they were Gen Z's age. Fast forward, it's like they have a hundred years of knowledge just accumulated that they're doing absolutely nothing with because they want to be left the hell alone. And what is Gen Z doing? They're continuing to poke at them, poke at them, poke at them. And they've been warning you, leave us alone. Leave us alone or we're going we're gonna to come out, and when we come out, it's not going to be nice. There are some Gen Xers who just don't care at all. When they say don't care, they don't simply mean they don't care what you're saying. They don't care about going to prison for life. They don't care about your feelings. They don't care how the church is going to judge them, how society is going to judge them. They don't get like they, they don't care. Just like how Gen Z comes across as dense, you have a group of Gen Z Gen Xers who just don't just don't care. Okay, about anything. They will throw hands and then go have a beer afterwards. Like nothing ever happened. This is how these people. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like you tell these kids. Don't mess with these people. Don't poke them. Don't poke the giant honey badger. What do they do? They go and poke the giant honey badger. The damn, the honey badger is the most dangerous creature on the, it is the most feral creature on the face of the earth. It does not get it. Give a damn. All right. You all saw that video. Honey badger. If honey badger gets stung by a, by a cobra, right? Poison while he's eating. So what happens? Honey badger just passes out for a little bit and wakes back up. And continues to eat his food. Jesus. Like I said. Why is Gen X. Comparably smaller than other generations. 
It's simple because those are the ones who survived. That's not a game. These are the people who used to go around asking their friends, hey, you want to see something? You want to go see this uh this ceased? You want to go see the bo- this body I found? What? What did you say? Yeah, man. And they would go and round up all their friends, right? And take off to go and check this out. And they never told their parents afterwards. This was one of the exciting t- things about being a Gen Xer. You know, guys, when I lived overseas, you know, I lived in a place where there were always bodies all over the place. And it was exciting. You know, one of my close friends when I was overseas was a Gen Xer. And, you know, it was always exciting whenever they were, we were like, oh, my gosh, there's a body. Oh, my goodness. Let's stop and have a look. Normal people would be scared. Gen X, on the other hand, get excited. It's like bringing, it's like nostalgia from our childhood. I don't know. I don't even know what's wrong with Gen Z. Something bad is happening. Everyone's running away. Gen X, what the heck's going on over there? Hmm, let me see if I can get a look. Oh, oh, yeah, that's, that's it. That guy, yeah, they're real. He's really in trouble. Ah, yeah, too bad, too bad for that sap. Too bad for him. Best luck in the next life, buddy. Best luck in the next life. Nothing. Things like this don't scare Gen X. Okay, guys. If I see like if if like something like this happen, I saw plenty of them. But guys, I was traveling, traveling, and I walk like I was traveling. This was a couple of years ago, right before the uh everything shut down and i was overseas and i was just walking and uh there was a body next there was a body just like a few inches away from me i was like oh look at that look at that and i just had and then i just went to then i just went to and hopped on a plane and and uh had to go to the airport that was that was that was just my normal normal reaction okay this is Gen-, Gen X is even worse than I am. A lot of them in their youth, they would try to go poke, they would try to go grab a stick, go roll, round up all their friends. All right. These are the people that you're dealing with. We guys, there's a lot of D I C K H E A D S's in Gen in Gen X. All right. These are not the nicest of people. Okay. They control harder. They are the OG trolls. They will go to your house to troll you. This this guy said it. He said the Zennials are warning you, the Millennials are warning you, but you're not listening. Gen Z is not listening. All right. This gen this Gen Xer that's in that's in the woods, this woodsman, woodsman Gen Xer, he's literally saying, you know, it's all a joke until it isn't. That was a warning to stop messing with them. What do you guys think regarding all of this? Gen Z has pissed off Gen X. Let me know your thoughts and we'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. Men walking away. And cheers.